Right. Well, as Dan just shared with us all, today was a great day to be outside, and it was made for a great time for the annual St. Patty's Block Party. Talia Do Bravo was out there today and joins us now. So, Talia, how was it? Markeisha, there is live music, bounce houses, hot dogs, and lots of green is what you would be able to find this downtown, th today, this evening, in downtown. Take a look. The first full St. Patty's Festival since the pandemic came back and stronger than ever. If people haven't been down here for a while and they come down for the festival, hopefully they're checking out what's new, what's happening, um, every all the shops and stuff going on down here. And then the economic impact, you know, um, we've got people coming in and, from out of town from here, so hopefully they're spending money all over town and that helps bring in more sales tax dollars. Crowds fill downtown celebrating the block party that had something for people of all ages. Scottish and Irish attendee James Hughes says he's happy to see Wichita Falls Story Festival like this, honoring his heritage. I think St. Patrick's Day is kind of something that gets overlooked a lot. I'm glad they're starting to bring in things here for Wichita Falls, especially this year. Seems like there's a lot more going on this year than what there was last year. Uh, a lot of food out here, uh, some festivities and games for the kids and everything. Uh, just nice to see Wichita Falls finally doing something uh, to help people get together and enjoy each other. Because it's fun and it, our birthday's Monday. Yeah. So. St. Patrick's Day, it it's, you know, might as well celebrate it for our yeah. birthday. All proceeds brought in by the event go directly back into downtown development to help improve our city and host more events like this. Projects like the Zells building, um, we purchased another building, so going into that. And then also quality of life improvements and placemaking, like we did the park at um, 8th and Scott and some of like our bike racks and that type of small infrastructure around downtown. Green, green, and more green. A successful turnout after having a few years off. Irish luck truly came through this afternoon with the weather feeling good to kick off the festival season. Looks like so much fun. Talia, thank you so much for that story.